Welcome to Tectali.org video tutorial. In Java, there are functions which can throw more than one type of exceptions. Java 7 provides an easy way to handle these multiple exceptions. Assume that we need to open a URL connection to read a CSV file and store its content in a database. The get connection will throw a SQL exception, whereas URL connection can throw malformed URL exception or IO exception. All exceptions are captured in separate catch blocks. In most cases, the action needed to deal with one exception is the same for other exceptions. So the general tendency in such cases is to replace all catch blocks with a base exception block. In Java 7, it is now possible to handle more than one exception from within a single catch block. This ability can reduce the duplication of code. Let us see how this feature can be applied in this example. We are now catching IO exception and SQL exception in a single catch block separated by a vertical bar. This approach is useful when we need to handle a few specific exceptions and need to handle them in the same way. When a catch block handles more than one exception, the catch block parameter is implicitly final. This means that it is not possible to assign new values to the parameter. Code readability and smaller byte code are the benefits of using this feature. Thank you for watching this video. Please share this video if you find it useful.